Senate Democrats launched an all-night blitz against Education Secretary nominee Betsy DeVos. A confirmation vote is scheduled for noon Eastern time today, and at least one Democratic senator hopes that a third Republican senator may cross party lines and vote against DeVos, which would kill that nomination. CNN Sullivan Shafati joins us live from Capitol Hill. While the Democrats hope to get another Republican defection, Sullivan, as we sit here at 4.30 a.m. Eastern time, we don't have any word there actually is one. That's absolutely right, John, and important to note, uh, this is a big display. The Democrats now on hour 17 of their 24-hour protest on the floor uh, where they took shift uh, shifts tonight, uh, blasting De Betsy DeVos. But the reality of all of this is that Democrats simply do not have the numbers to block her confirmation when she comes up for a final vote later today. But they are very close. They have Senator Murkowski, Senator Collins, two Republican senators who notably came out last week and said that they will vote against Betsy DeVos. So that means, and that's really the goal of this overnight talkathon, that they only need one Republican senator to join them and break ranks against Betsy DeVos, and that leading to many impassioned speeches on the floor overnight. I feel a personal responsibility to ensure that if I cast my vote as a senator, that whoever takes that office will be tireless in the defense of all the rights and privileges and liberties of our students. So you have people left, right, and center. I mean, you can ask the, the, the Senate Republicans whether they're getting phone calls too. They're getting phone calls too. This is not a democratic strategy. What's happening is we have the wrong person who may be confirmed as the Secretary of Education. Despite this effort by the Democrats, Republican officials up here on Capitol Hill say that they are very confident that Betsy DeVos will become uh, and will be confirmed today to become the next uh, education secretary. They do not expect any Republican uh, to additionally break ranks more than those two who previously announced. So this would mean we have a 50-50 tie here in the Senate um, when they move towards a vote at noon today. Uh, and that would usher in Vice President Mike Pence, who would come in his capacity as president of the Senate to break that tie. And this is historical here, John and Christine, because never before has a Senate historian found an instance where a vice president has had to cast the ballot on a cabinet nominee to seal and cement them in place.